The vandalism of a Racine synagogue in September is helping shine a light on the base, which the FBI describes as a, quote, white racially motivated extremist group. Though he wouldn't come to the door, Oak Creek's Yusuf Barasna is under house arrest, linked to the base, and charged with conspiracy to violate citizens' rights in the synagogue vandalism. It's making international news, with this website even finding a since-deleted Facebook photo of him. Sinister. It's sinister. And I would say that the Jewish community is on edge. We're not the only ones. But the, but the community's on edge. The Milwaukee Jewish Federation tracks incidents of anti-Semitism here, including groups like the base. The trend is alarming. Since 2015, every year, a significant increase in the number of incidents. Up 300% in the last four years. The FBI says the base even leafleted Marquette University in June, looking for more members. The base, part of their whole goal is to not just let things evolve and lead to the, this race war, but to hasten the race war and, and to encourage people to be active shooters and to, to, and to um, vandalize Jewish synagogues like we saw in Racine. And is using historic acts of intolerance as dark inspiration. This is a young group that has a, ch a local chapter, is that they've said, okay, all of you who are, who are already extremists, let's get to work. So I think we should totally be alarmed. I think the biggest danger is that we stop being alarmed. Dick, Nick joins us live now. Nick, the FBI claims in the charging documents the base posted recruitment flyers at Marquette University. What are they saying tonight? Right. Well, Marquette says they were unable to substantiate that flyers were actually distributed here on campus, but they tell us they, quote, condemn the spread of hateful rhetoric anywhere. Nick Moore reporting live from Marquette University.